questions for Christian? Start on the right side, Ben. Hey, Christian. Um, what do you think that touchdown meant to Speedy today? I think it was a, a, a boost of confidence. You know, it's, it's, it's been a while for him. And, you know, I know it was tough for him to, to sit out that first game. And um, he's been practicing his tail off. And, you know, we, we saw the, you know, the kind of the gradual um, increase in his play, you know, over the fall camp and um, kind of leading into the season. And, you know, you can kind of see all his hard work paying off. And, um, you know, that's why I say it was, it was hard for him to sit out that first game. But, you know, once he got in the end zone, uh, today it was it was awesome for everybody to see and you know I, I know he's he's real happy about that. We're right here in front, second row. Does the offense or just the team in general seem to have a different, more work focused attitude this year than last year? It just it, that just from the way the sidelines, maybe it's the vibe. Does mm -hmm. it seem more focused than last year? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's just um, you know it's 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 just changing you know all the all the little things that that we had you know that was that was wrong last year, you know I I, I stress that a lot you know <clears throat> when talking about last year it's just you know a bunch of little things that that we needed to get fixed and you know I think we're we're really emphasizing that especially in practice and um, you know whenever we're in our meetings and and, and that's some some things that you know Coach Mazzoni kind of implements is you know little things such as tempo or you know sideline energy and you know kind of just just everybody doing their job and you know that was the main thing that was stressed this week is everybody going and do your job and you know this week was was more about us you know it wasn't about you know Prairie View it was about us and you know we we said sharpen the blade you know we we got to sharpen the blade and you know get everybody better you know with their fundamentals and you know we went out there and and, and did that today go on the back right to Olin and we'll go to Brent well Christian what do you think uh uh, this win, as lopsided as it was, does for your team when it comes against a, an opponent that I think y'all knew that y'all were going to beat and they, they were clearly overmatched. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you take from it? You know, I think the number one thing that we take from it is is getting our young guys experience. You know, th those guys were able to get in, in the second half and get in there and get a lot of experience. You know, that's the whole second half of them, you know, being able to get, you know, 40 to 50 plays. And that's, that's really key because, you know, a lot of those guys haven't been able to see, you know, real in-game action. And for them to get out there and practice their fundamentals and their coverages and kind of go out and, and, and put what the coaches have, have, have put forth to us and, and put that to work on the field. So uh, we're, we're definitely going to need to lean on those young guys, especially coming into SEC play. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be a grind. And, you know, with, with them getting in today, you know, that just that gives the rest of the team confidence to know that we can put plug anybody in there. And, um, you know, the, the, the performance level is not going to drop. We'll go to Brent, and then Daryl will wrap us up in the back. It was 3-0 with a few minutes left in the first quarter. What do you feel like got y'all's offense uh, finally rolling? You know, it's with us, it's, uh, it's, it's getting up to our tempo. You know, all we need is, is one explosive play to get us going. And, uh, you know, once we get that first explosive play, that's when we really kind of take advantage of our tempo and, you know, get right, on, right back onto the ball and, and start running our plays and, you know, get, get into our script. And, you know, sometimes when you, you stall or have an incomplete pass or a one-yard gain, you know, sometimes that kind of stalls your tempo. Um, but I think once we kind of hit the ground running and, and got those tempo plays and got in the end zone, everybody kind of settled in. You know, it's an early game, and, and this is the first one we've had um, this season. So it's, uh, it, it's tough. You know, you know we got to wake up early, and you got to get, get your mind right going first. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm just happy with the way we ended the game. And it with Daryl in the back. Christian, I know the outcome of the game was pretty much in hand in the ha at the end of the first half, but mm – -hmm. Offensively, were you guys pulling for that defense to pitch that shutout today? Without a doubt, you know that's that's awesome to uh, to see all those points on the board. Um, but at the end of the day, to to see that zero on the other side is is an awesome feeling too. Because you know we know how talented that defense is, and you know they're playing lights out right now. And for them to go out there and do what they're supposed to do, and and, and follow through with Coach Chavis's game plan. Uh, you know, we, we, we couldn't be more happy for them. And, you know, we're excited to see, you know, where they're going to go throughout this season as they progress.